So I've been testing this M50 battery grip for a couple months now. And in this video, I'm gonna be letting you guys know my thoughts. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, I'm Freely and I believe that filmmaking should not be difficult and that anyone can get into it. My goal is to make videos that help you when you're just starting out with videos just like this. So if you're interested, consider subscribing. So I've been talking about this for several months now about making a video about this particular item. It's taken me a while but I finally was able to collect my thoughts and thoroughly test it to let you guys know. So this actually comes from a company in Poland called Studio Pro. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. So they make a wide range of grips and battery grips for the Canon 50 and also the Canon RP surprisingly. So I wasn't the one who discovered this, it was actually my dad who discovered this from like an ad on Instagram I think. He sent it over to me and I was a little bit skeptical at first when I bought this because it was about 80 bucks and it was like $10 shipping and it didn't even come with the batteries that power this thing. So I was looking at about $100 for this battery grip and I eventually just bought it and I've been testing it ever since. So the material that it's made out of, it's actually 3D printed. If you look really closely, you can see the like lines of, that you can just tell that it was 3D printed all around here and just when you look at the body of the battery grip itself. I'm gonna take this thing off, it's really annoying me that it's like flailing around as I'm like doing this. So the M50 battery grip actually comes in two different versions, the classic and the extended. So this is the extended one, as you can tell. It's a lot more bigger and fits in your hand really well. So the entire package of what you get when you buy this is you get the battery grip, you get the dummy battery, um, you get this hot shoe right here, a battery tray, and a battery door. So the setup is actually quite easy on this. You pretty much just slide the M50 right here and there's like a, a screw part like at the bottom. You just use a flat head um, to screw that in. And then it comes with a battery tray. It comes with a dummy battery. Like I said, you slide that in, put the battery tray in, you plug it into the dummy battery and you just close it off with this door. And although I think that the setup is really quite simple, it actually is sort of a con. So what I mean by the setup being a con is that it takes about two tools to get this whole thing set up. So to mount the M50 to this grip, you need a flathead screwdriver and to mount this hot shoe mount right up here, you need a hex bit screwdriver. But I feel like if you just didn't have those tools around, you're pretty much screwed, pun intended. <laughs> because say you're going somewhere really last minute and you throw your, your battery grip in there and you don't even have your camera set up just like how I have it right now. And then you totally forget that you have to have like a flathead or like a hex bit screwdriver just to mount this to the grip and then have this part screwed in. Granted, you can leave this part out and just not screw it in, you can do that too. But then I feel like that's just a little bit of a hassle having to bring extra tools with you um, when you're like traveling or just you're out. I'm having to have just extra items, I guess you could say, with you when you're trying to set this up. So all in all, the setup for this, although it is easy, I do think it's a little cumbersome having to bring extra tools with you. So when you have the camera on top of the grip, you still have access to all the things that you normally have on the camera. So right here, it has a spot for the HDMI, right here um, you can still access the mic right there there's a screw mount right here so you can still mount this on like tripods or gimbals or whatever and on the bottom you still have access to the battery door so if you're ever worried about it you know blocking some ports they pretty much thought of everything every port is still accessible if you want to like take out your SD card to like unload your files you would have to like undo this so it plugs in, right? And you have to open the door and that's great. Yeah, the door opens and everything. But then to take out the SD card, it's actually quite hard because I don't know if my fingers are just big, but when I press the, the SD card and I try to take it out, it's actually really hard to like slide it out. You just have to get the right grip on it. Wait, I'm having a hard time right now. Okay. There you go. I just noticed that it's a little bit difficult to take the SD card out and sliding it back in is a little difficult too. You see how the door doesn't open quite all the way. What you can do is like move this right here, move the battery tray and then the door can open all the way and you can have easier time accessing the stuff inside the battery door. So that's a little tip if you decide to buy this. Um, see, here's the battery door, very nice, magnets. Great. So after testing it out for quite a while now, um, I can say that the battery grip really does work and this really does extend your battery a really long time. That's one of the main 
problems with the M50 is the battery and this pretty much solves it. So on the website, it claims that it can increase the battery four to 12 times. I was really skeptical about that too, like four to 12 times, that's, that's crazy. And although I haven't like fully tested it, they're like a scientific test, I do notice a huge difference whenever I'm using the battery grip. If you guys want me to do like a very scientific test of me testing out the battery life for the regular batteries and then here on the battery grip, um, feel free to leave it down in the comments. I'd love to test that out. But from what I can say, this definitely extends your battery a very long time. I kind of batch these videos together, so I just record a whole bunch just at once. So I was able to record three videos in just one sitting and the battery wasn't even dead yet. I didn't even start from a full battery. It was an already partially used battery. I, I took it out here and there and I was still able to film three different videos, but this was still alive by the time I was done. And I think that's just a testament to show that, yeah, the battery just lasts a really long time. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but these use the 18650 on battery cells. And oh, wow, these things last a very long time. And I don't think I've charged it even five times yet. And frankly, because I haven't needed to. And I just gotta say, this battery grip is just, just a lifesaver. You don't have to be charging your batteries over and over again. Besides the battery though, the grip itself is very, very nice in your hands. So one of the things with these small mirrorless cameras is that for people with bigger hands, and I don't really have that much of a big hand really, just to have more things to hold just makes it feel so much more safer compared to just holding the camera itself. I think my pinky always like hangs off to the side when I hold it without the grip, but with the grip, I just feel like it's so much more safe. I guess this leads into the next con is that it's going to make your camera much bigger. If you bought the M50 or any of the Canon M cameras because you like the portability and you like that they're really small but still had interchangeable lenses, this is gonna make your camera a lot bigger. Um, so like if you look here, you can just see how much of a difference, how much height this adds. Look at that, this is, this is just the M50 and this is pretty much almost half the size of the M50 right here. Pretty much almost doubles the size, but I guess that's a trade-off that you're going for. If you do buy this, you're trading portability for more battery life, which I think it just uh, outweighs the cons. So this is a great solution for the M50's battery life, but not only that, you get like a really great grip and it makes you feel safer just holding the camera. But there is this one teeny tiny reliability issue and it's already happened to me twice. So if you look at this, uh, the battery sit here, you slide it in and then you plug this in to the dummy battery. It's happened before where the batteries are fully charged and then I set everything up correctly, I plug in this to the dummy battery but then the camera just doesn't turn on I'm not too sure what causes it but but I have an idea that it might be these wire wires right here um, maybe they weren't wired well but whenever I try to go and t troubleshoot what's wrong I'd see like is it the dummy battery where I put it in wrong or something or are these batteries um, not charged and I just pretty much isolated it to these wires I'm guessing from the way that they manufacture this Sometimes the wires aren't like connected correctly. I don't know. I don't I never took electricity So basically what happens with this issue is that it does not want to turn on my camera So I'm guessing it's it's some kind of battery issue the wires aren't touching correctly or it's not in the right position or whatever I just kind of like wiggled the wire and just kind of like played around with it and eventually it did turn on. But that's just something I had to mention if you were interested in this, even though this is a really great product and a great solution to the battery and you know holding the camera. I did have to mention that sometimes this whole battery um, setup doesn't work 100% of the time. And I also wanna clarify that it's not like it's super sensitive and you have to like put it in a certain certain position in order for it to work. It's just that I, I think that the wires sometimes as you're like moving stuff around just don't go in the right position, I don't know, and just stop working. It's not like if I touch it, it's gonna stop um, sending power through and into the camera. It's more like sometimes 
for whatever reason, the wires are just in the wrong position that doesn't power the camera. With this kind of constructive criticism that the company could, you know, maybe think of a better solution and just make this product better and make the consumers happy, make me happy because I really want to um, promote these products. But yeah, bottom line with this, if you do buy this, just be aware that sometimes it just might work. And I know it sounds kind of bad that sometimes it just won't work, but for the problem that it solves, I think it's worth the risk. So all in all, I was very skeptical about making this purchase because you know, it's kind of sketchy. I don't want to drop almost $100 on something that might not work. But overall, I'm very satisfied with this purchase. Now, would I recommend it to everyone? I have to say like I 95% recommend it to everyone. It's just that that small little issue with the battery just not connecting sometimes and you just have to fiddle with it. That's the only thing that's holding me back from 100% recommending this to everyone but if you do want to take the chance and definitely go for it like this solves so many problems with the battery and like I said earlier the pros far outweigh the cons when it comes to this and I feel like if more people buy this product and actually test it the company can make more improvements and make better products and that just helps everyone so if I had to sum this up in just a couple words I'd say that this is a great solution that solves a problem on an already really great camera and I, I recommend that people buy this if they're willing to take the risk. And if you are really convinced and you really want to try this out, I left a link in the description below. And just to let you guys know, I'm not sponsored by this company at all. I pretty much bought this with my own money. If you made it this far into the video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you like more videos just like this, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. So question for everyone, are you going to be picking up one of these battery grips? If you are, leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to know you guys' thoughts after you get them and just your overall experience with the product. And just to let you guys know, I'm gonna be taking a break from posting on YouTube for the rest of the month of December, but that's all in preparation for 2020. Um, I'm just preparing for the new year. I have a bunch of ideas and I think you guys are gonna like some of them. If you wanna keep up with me, um, follow me on my Instagram at freely underscore explore. Follow me there if you wanna see uh, when I post a new video or if you just wanna see some cool pictures. So thank you guys once again for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button and other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.